Welcome to Carib Gold Olga in this video. We hear a word from the Dallas Spiritual Reader. She was dropping jewels, folks. I don't know how real the jewels were, though. She was dropping tea. I don't know if it was cold or warm or piping hot, but we fitting to find out. Let's hear what she had to say. Hello, hello. This is your Dallas Spiritual Reader. Like, share, and subscribe. And feel my vibe. No, I was just woken up for someone that needed a reading, and I happened to look at YouTube, and Jack and Kimmy was on. You see, they're always full of that shit, playing a game with TJ, and TJ crying she want to get off the bar. guys drop it in the comment section you all believe the chicken wings were burnt or just well done you see people don't know what's good and bad these days especially when you're on assignment Kimmy said they're good so I'm wondering what kind of assignment the Dallas spiritual Reader suggesting, what is she suggesting? That Kimmy's on assignment? And for what purpose, guys? Maybe she wants her own channel to thrive like TJ's and is looking for Jaguar to give her that jump start. Because Kimmy is on her mission. But I want you to hear how they interrogate TJ about the book. folks we don't know if it's true or not all alleged and she already know what tj has allegedly but now kimi is in the picture tj don't fool a threesome she only want her and jack even though she talked plenty of shit but she repeatedly answered the phone over and over and over. Who does that? A person who's still in love with you. Exactly. That's what I've been saying. TJ is still in love with Jaguar. Whether she wants to believe it or not, but it's blatant. She shows it every time she got to talk to Kimi. She blows up because she's jealous. So Jaguar was just trying to get more under TJ's skin by asking Kimmy, what flavor was those delicious wings? She was adding fuel to the fire because she knows and she knows TJ is in her feelings. Or is this all a game? You know, like a smoke screen for the public. And is hell over heels in love with Jaguar. And don't know what to do about it because Jaguar don't want her no more. Well, so she says. I don't know. <laughs> they just good, y'all. Yeah. They're my special ones. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and Kimi are arguing. And I'm saying to myself, actually, I'm scratching my head. What in the world are they fighting over? I'm looking at Jaguar, and I'm looking at TJ, and I'm looking at Kimi, and I'm saying, what you fighting over? Her? Jaguar? The person who don't have nothing living out of in and out of hotels? Sometimes she's eating, sometimes she's not. She got Johnny, all the Johnny popcorns popping through her hotel room and calling them nephew and cousin, allegedly, folks. All right? Don't come for me, Jaguar. And I say, y'all fighting over this woman, her? But let me tell you something. The trips that she's making back and forth, and I didn't connect the dots until Dallas Spiritual Reader connected all. And she says, why y'all think she making so many trips to Arizona all the time? When she and Goomba was married and she was saying that the cartel was after her and she got to escape. And the only place that she would escape to would be Arizona. She said, why y'all think she making so many trips? I'm going to let you listen to her explanation. It didn't dawn on me because, you know, I don't like to think the worst about people, but the dots are lining up. I don't know if it's true or not. On this channel, you guys know everything is alleged, but let's take a listen. You see, TJ is still talking to Tawana and Vanessa. And Vanessa, Vanessa knows about those bonds. <laughs> she done been on a couple. <laughs> that yellow meat. What's I say? You see, there are times when people try to interrogate others because they're on a mission. TJ was on a mission once when she came her ass all the way up here to interfere in Goomba and Jag troubles. Do you feel my father? At this point in the video, TJ and Kimmy are continuing to argue. And I got a keen sense this was a lover's battle for Jaguar. And so it went on and on with both of them arguing, screaming on top of each other. You couldn't hardly make out what they were saying. And then the cussing started, which would have taken me all day to edit out. So I just cut the whole thing out because it was too much editing. Every other word was cussing. I edited out those cuss words in the last video I did. You guys can catch the last video over there in the channel if you want to hear the full saga of the back and forth. In this video, I didn't want to hear the arguing amongst them. I wanted to hear what a Dallas spiritual reader had to say. See, now we're finna go through the period of that elementary game. You know how young kids say a few cuss words and realize it's fun to curse. You know, a lot of these, must I say, failures in life. Thinking cursing would get you ahead of the game. You see this elementary script? It's all the same as I sit here and eat my okra, dehydrated okra, laying in my king size bed. See, you didn't hear me though. But this is the script, it's all the same. So, right now, Jaguar is going back and forth with TJ if she wants her name off the bond. Jaguar already knows if she wants her name off. All she got to do is go through the process if she can get it off. TJ already knows this also. Why are they arguing if she wants her name off the bond? Because it's all an act. It's all a game. But what kind of game are they playing? That's the question. See, that's how a demon blame you for something they created. Then boomerang back. That is all your fault. No one told TJS to come to Dallas to bail Jim Jack out. Even if the bloggers mention it, she didn't have to come. See, now everybody. 
So what is she trying to say, people? She said, the fentanyl is real in Vegas. What is she trying to say? Well, we know when Jaguar was married to Goomba, she was always traveling back and forth from Dallas to Arizona. I don't know what she's trying to say, folks, but you guys drop it in the comment section. What do you think Dallas Spiritual Reader is trying to say about Jaguar? Constantly driving from state to state. What is she trying to tell us, folks? I wonder. That's a depot. What's that say? Next she'll be saying she's going through Arkansas. So, she just said, and next thing you know, Jaguar is going to say she's going through Arkansas. So, what are, are these trips about? That's what I want to know. But you guys can drop your comments because I know a lot of you already figured it out. Do you feel my vibe? You see, what you hear is not what you're saying, and what you see is not the definition of what you find it out. It's hard to make out, but I think she said when she was with Goomba, she was running to Arizona and Colorado. I think that's what I heard her say. But if you guys heard different, drop it in the comments. And now 20 to Louis. Do you feel my vibe? It has nothing to do with music. Now that part I did caught. She says it has nothing to do with music. All this running back and forth from Vegas to wherever else she's traveling has nothing to do with music. What does it have to do with? Tell us! Now, Jaguar, are you hiding a little secret that we should know about? Hmm? Feel my vibe. It has nothing to do with music. Do you feel my vibe? Sound like when Jack was with Goomba. Remember the barber shop and the call afterwards. Nobody had to kiss anybody. Anal. When you have a part of the whole butthole. See, I want you here and listen well. You guys heard that? Let me repeat that for the girls in the back who haven't heard it. The girls and the boys in the back. The studio in Vegas and the studio in Dallas that she goes to. Dallas Spiritual Reader is saying they are connected. You see, it's not no, always about music. It's a lot of things going on in the studio. That's not I got a question for you guys. Jaguar was in the studio. She said she was in the studio 
making music. She was in the studio with TJ. She was in the studio with Kimmy. They heard her making music. Where's the music? How come we're not hearing this music that she's supposed to be making? Or are we? Is that the songs that she's releasing now on her internet website? Are those the songs or are those old songs? I don't know because I don't listen to her music. So I'm asking the question, and some of you may know, whether or not those are the songs that she did in the studio. Because Dallas Spiritual Reader says she ain't making no music. Tiny, hey, hey, Tiny. We don't know if they're doing anything illegal with this traveling back and forth. So it, we are saying on this channel, I'm saying it's all alleged because nothing has been proven. So over here, it's allegedly. agree with that part that TJ really feels like Jaguar and Kimmy are together. They're a couple now. That's what she's thinking. That's why she's so mad. Now, it might not be true, but that's what I think that she's upset that they are so close. It gets under her last nerve whenever she talks to Kimmy. You see, Kim has a few coins herself. Residence is a stable place. Jack is on a mission. What mission is that? I wish the Dallas spiritual reader wouldn't beat around the bush and just tell us what she's really thinking. She said Jaguar is on a mission. Kimmy got a stable place. So what? What are you saying, lady? That Jaguar is planning on moving in on Kimmy? Is that what you're saying? And plus, the spiritual reader says, Kimmy got a few coins. So what you saying? That Jaguar is planning on spending that money? Alleviating that money out of her hands just a few dollars at a time? This is all alleged, all alleged, folks. Jack, even with your extra in your panties, Woo, she unloaded a lot. That was a lot of information. Some things that, you know, you got to really wonder about. It makes you go, hmm. And you know, you're thinking and your eyes are rolling up in your head, wondering if it's true, not true. She unloaded a lot. She said it's the reason why Jaguar keeps running back and forth from Arizona to Dallas, back to all these other places that she's going to saying that she's doing music. Well, she said she wants to be an independent artist and she don't want to be with a major music label. 
But we don't see her putting out any music. She just playing the same old songs that she did years ago. Why? Why is she running back and forth? Is there a reason? Well, before she used to say she's running from the cartel, she's not saying that as much this time. I don't hear her saying she's running from the cartel, but she's still traveling from state to state. Why? Dallas Spiritual Reader said fentanyl is real in Arizona. Listen, all alleged, I don't know. Anyway, guys. That was food for thought. You guys think about it. Drop your comments in the comment section. Tell me what you feel. I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know, honey. I'm over and out. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like bell. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. I'm over and out.